Nikki Cross. Cross. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back for a very exciting, very long way to come back. And we'll be reacting to nine of my favorite boys, Cravity. Yes, so Cravity is back finally today with a new release called Adrenaline, hence the do. And obviously we have watched the teasers beforehand, so I kind of know what to expect. But in case you don't know, this is very long awaited because all of them got COVID in the middle of teasers starting to be released. But they're all recovered now. The music video is finally out. And that being said, let us go. So they were in school. It sounds kind of like an ice cream joke. Did I say it was called Lovity High School? Oh, Lovity Festival. Yeah. Yeah, because it's their fans. Well, I just wanted to see what like the school name was. Also, happy birthday, one dude. <laughs> the little. I like how funky it is. I like the layered background. Oh! Oh, oh! It's like your heart bursting with feelings. Oh, but then like you're so like <gasps> frozen. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Whoa. Oh, I like the change for this section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten out of ten acting boys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! He's talking to the girl. Oh, mini! <laughs> They're like on their toes the whole time. Ah, because it's like, dude. Yeah. I'm glad you understood what this meant because I realized I. Got you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, dark. Oh. Oh, the edgiest outfits. Oh, it's like the school talent show, but it looks like they're dressed to do like their other concept songs. I was gonna say, it looks like all of the videos you see of pre-debut idols and they're on their school dance teams and they're uh, doing like idol covers. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, young guy. Oh. Who did it? I don't know. Oh, they're never gonna tell you. It's not gonna be resolved. Cliffhanger. <laughs> okay, so let's just get right into it. I'm a very happy lovity right now. Very happy. And I kind of mentioned it at the beginning, but in case you were unaware, I love Gravity so much. They are my K-pop children. Oh man, I'm so fond. And I was so excited for this comeback. So first, let's talk about how you can see adrenaline, like sort of that concept in the dance and getting that like rush of adrenaline. One thing that you're seeing a lot in this are very quick isolations that go through their whole body and they're usually starting from their toes and making it all the way up 
to their head and it goes really really quickly it's sort of like oh i'm charged up now but i really enjoyed those moments because they were very like piece by piece rather than the isolation sort of like blending and running and it being more like a body wave it really was like you saw ankle knee hip like all the way up the spine very clean very wonderful something you see in like the overall choreography is a lot of cannons usually from the middle out so that's sort of like the burst out of adrenaline or of excitement something sort of like the confetti burst moment you see a lot of cannons in this and that is when it starts from one and then it like ripples down the line but it gives the same feeling actually very interestingly as the isolations where it's kind of separated it's not smooth cannons it's very much like doo -doo 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 -doo. so that sort of heightens that adrenaline feeling because it's like you're feeling each moment of build up and then a very small detail that you see a lot that gives you that adrenaline moment are their fingers i'm gonna call them spirit fingers or like jazz hands they're doing a lot of like spirit finger moments especially as they're coming up first of all it sends a lot of energy because you're getting energy all the way through their hands but also concept wise it's kind of like when you have a lot of adrenaline in your system a very common side effect is like sort of shaking hands or like shaking legs that sort of thing so very real i want to clarify one thing i said though onto my next comment i was like oh they're like always on their toes it's not that they're always on their toes it's that in that moment they were on their toes but they are on the balls of their feet a lot in this and it's especially on the transition moments rather than being flat-footed like taking flat-footed steps to move around they're up on their feet which makes it feel lighter and bouncier like they have been lifted by something which also gives it that more like high energy adrenaline feeling something else that i really liked about this were the small variations in the choreography to highlight the singer because generally the way that you highlight who is singing or rapping at the time is through like a special gesture where they'll call to themselves wherever they are in the formation but in this one it was very like strategically done that the dance movement the singer would be doing would be an exaggerated version of the whole group choreography. A really good example of this is Hyungjun's first part when he goes down from the ground and rolls up and everyone else is doing it standing like in a smaller way and so I just think that those slight variations also make it a lot more interesting because there's so much group choreography in this instead of a lot of smaller groups but yeah I just loved it. I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna talk for too long but like I'm so happy this is my kind of bright music we talk a lot about how I prefer like darker angstier music but when I listen to bright music I prefer this kind because it's funky and it's upbeat and like it is cute but it feels very like age appropriate to them cute it's not overly cutesy I know I'm gonna be like dancing around my house to, or dancing around my apartment to this later by myself where no one can see me so Anna's turn and that is a wonderful transition into my comments. Hello, it is my turn. I usually would end with this, but I guess I'll start with this for the transition because Peyton said that this is her kind of upbeat music that she listens to. And finally, we have found a Gravity title track that falls within the overlap of our music style tastes Venn diagram. Cause I also really enjoy this style in case you couldn't tell. So let's talk about a few things in the music specifically. One of those things is a funkier electric bass line that you hear right from the start of the song that is the common theme i really enjoy that because that's what's giving like the funky feeling it makes it more rhythmical like syncopated i think both of us were following along to it at some point while we were watching so it's also very catchy so that's also something interesting about the song is that like you get funkiness from it but then i was also getting 80s synth vibes at certain points and then i was also getting kind of like more deep house music style vibes at one point so it's like an interesting mix of different genres of music so to point out the 80s vibes i was getting i really got those in the pre-chorus sections i also just really enjoyed the pre-chorus sections because the way that they would layer the synth sounds and also there were layered background vocals that were happening that acted as the build-up to the chorus for like building the energy adrenaline the way that the voices are mixed with the synths and also like the tone quality of them is a little bit thinner not in a bad way but a little bit thinner like more clear it has the same effect as like light shining through or like space movies which makes sense because their name and their entire branding is about space but it does feel like the very futuristic sort of 80s vibes that you would get when synths were first like very popular and then the moments where i would get the house vibes the most were really like chorus and then a little bit in the bridge because it's the really heavy bass 
base and all the other perk lines as well that are working together that feel like that. I think that's kind of where this mix of genres comes in because there are the more upbeat moments, like brighter moments in the verses, but then it also grounds a little bit in the choruses. So I think those are more accommodating for like the more intense dancing that they do. One thing that I did find really interesting though was the bridge switch. The percussion that they bring in in the bridge is like this really intense drumming. It's not the same kind of drum, but the intensity of it that you feel, like it feels like a punch, reminds me of like marching or like chant drums, especially because it would like hit and then completely cut out and then hit and then completely cut out. The overwhelming effect of the drums is like even more powerful because it's contrasted with the complete absence of it immediately afterwards, which is also good for like building up the energy intensity. So I really enjoyed that part. Yeah, I guess I'll end my comments there because we don't really have a lot of time. But in case you can't tell, this is probably like my favorite Cravity title track that we've reacted to so far. Like you were saying, it's cute, but it's not like too cute. It's like age appropriate cute. What are we saying? I'm just gonna stop now, we're done. We sound so old. You're literally one year older than the oldest members. You're not even that much. <laughs> anyway, TLDR for today's reaction is Cravity, my loves. Congratulations on your long awaited comeback, Adrenaline. This definitely got our hearts racing, our energy up because it is such a fun and upbeat song and it falls perfectly within the overlap of our two styles of music. And it gave us very interesting things in the song and very interesting things in the dance. And we are just so happy for this promotional period to come and that you are all healthy now. I'm so happy. I wonder if the stage outfits are just gonna be different variations of school uniforms. Mm, probably. I think everyone will enjoy the varsity yeah. jackets one the most, I was already thinking. Yeah. Anyways, that being said, if you would like to talk with us more about Cravity, about this release, about how happy you are that they are all recovered, about other potential stage outfits apparently, then feel free to reach out to us on our socials which are linked in the cards. And as always, if you enjoyed this reaction video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and bye! bye.